Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Solstice 2 Survivors. Uh, we have the world famous night shift story mission coming up. Uh, to be fair, it's not world famous. Uh, no, you've never heard of it because this game is brand new. But maybe one day this will be like, oh guys, you know the that night shift mission in Red Solstice 2 Survivors? Yeah, I know it, it's crazy. Uh, we were able to adjust the horde arrival. We were playing around with that at the end of the last episode. And this dictates how much XP we're going to get, how much deployment costs. So I'm going to just throw it on immediate. I'm going to say, bring it. Well, I'm not afraid of no horde, but let's go. Uh, all of our soldiers are leveled up. Keanu, Ethan, and Harrison just absolutely crushing it. Nobody's even gone down yet. Uh, that's obviously because we have a very skilled commander at the helm. Let's, uh, let's rock and roll, shall we? Uh, we haven't been messing with their loadouts too much. Uh, everything's been kind of working. Once we get into missions that uh, start giving us some setbacks, then we'll start to play around with that a little bit more. But we're still learning a lot of stuff in mission, running into Executor, new things we sir, haven't seen before. Your contact is in the camp ahead. The mutants gave them a hard time, and they asked for assistance with the evac. Our convoy is here for that. Yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of red dots here. Uh, proceed to camp. Okay, do I need to babysit? Or are we cool? I think we're cool, but like there's a bunch of them here. Yeah, okay. So it's it seems like the way I need to level this up is I have to do the the destroy three armor with explosive, destroy three brutes, that's totally fine. But then I also need to, on one deployment, do those bottom three things. So explosives and destroying armor. Um and I, I think the, the progression is probably blocked by, you know, story stuff unfolding where we're going to run into more of those heavily armored enemies as we go along. Um, so that's what I'm guessing anyways. We've got a disruptor here. Removes and prevents biomass spread in the area. Okay, we'll take a look at that if we ever run into biomass on the ground. Proceed to camp. The gates are closed, sir. Oh, yes. We need to... Yes, they are. Gate controls are located on the other side. Oh my god. Uh, okay. So this looks like it's all blocked, maybe? If I just click back there, yeah, it's going to route me down through this bottom area. Okay, let's throw on some grenades, some crit. Let's go extra grenades and some stim action. Target down. Uh, let's grab this stroll sample as well. Move to position. Now they don't seem to react very well to the to the move. all move command. But if I individually move them, they're a little bit more responsive. Ethan, he's got he's a little bit of a he's a little bit sus. Keanu, I don't even know where Keanu's going. Taking point. Let's go. Single file on me. Okay, here's one of those safety zones. We were able to set one of these up before. Grab this explosive ammo. Looks like this one's already deployed. I'm ready for them. Open the door. Woo! <laughs> okay, well, we did get some armor destruction there. Um, holy smokes. What were they doing in here? Power cells for energy regen. Let's go explosive ammo here. Auto cannon system. Improves the overall combat capabilities of a specific weapon. Adds special properties on activation. Requires auto cannon. Yeah, I don't think I have that. I'm gonna drop this. This is like I now I see why they're in here. This is really happening. Okay, so the explosives maybe it just doesn't happen instantly. The the stuff kind of takes a second to update. Um so now we really need to be on alert for uh armor, trying to blow that up with explosives. I'm gonna max out my grenades, I think. Just try and make that happen. Let's, um, let's throw in our secondary ammo here. We're on wave two. Okay, yeah, this is good. We're heading in the right direction, anyways. A couple of lockers. We've got basic, average, basic. No more room. 
Um, let's do the power cell and grab the explosive ammo. Looks like I need to find a different way in here. Does this wrap around? A little concerned. I hope we can go the right way here. Uh, let's just throw more of this in. Stinger system. Specific weapon. Once again, I don't think that's going to help us. That It's pretty cool, actually, that there's weapon-specific upgrades that you need to uh, use. See ya. Oh my god, this could be bad. That's really cool. I don't think I've noticed that before. Okay, let's go north now. Where are we? Hopefully this just gets me up to this road. It looks like it will. We should be good. Nice, nice flare there. Is that Ethan or I think that was Harrison? Nice flare, Harrison. Oh, let me grab this energy. Move. Follow me. Okay. Let's go open the door for our pals. You know what? Let's actually uh, blow up these vehicles first. Because they're going to want to push through here. This is taking a little bit of time, obviously. Back. Overwatch. Can't pick that up. Secondary ammo. I've got 29. Okay, let's go. And we have an opening. Moving forward. But the Whoa. A strong storm patch is arriving oh, in your cool. area. Okay, so our vision is definitely limited. Let's try and stay near the truck. These little strikes coming down, presumably some type of interference. Red storm. Your movement is slowed. Minus 15% speed and your sight radius is reduced. Yes. If I had any of those flares, that would be, this would be the time to use them. Okay, we're getting a lot of enemies here. The mini map. I'm just gonna keep interacting with this. Stimulants. I'll get rid of these bandages. Throw the stimulants on right now. Secondary ammo. Power core. Oh, interesting. So this is not something I can use, but we must have like a limited number of them. So if I bring this back to base, maybe it would be good. That storm's insane. You have a second gate. Look at, oh my God, look behind here. The storm has struck the power reactor that regulates these gates. You must restart Whoa. it to open them. Damn. This weather will kill us before the mutants do. Oh, it's way back. Negative. No relevant data. Back up this illogical assumption. Emma, come on now. Just simmer down. Reloading. Speaking hypothetically here. Typical AI thing. No data backs this up. My energy's too low. Uh, let's throw this ammo in. I have no energy. Oh, I can't get through here. My bad. Um, let's take a stim here. I have to push around. Oh, look at this, dude. There's a brute. Okay. I don't know if that got us our armor, but that would be great if so. We have one. Reloading. I'm trying to look for those little bars that it was talking about in the uh, tutorial. Holy 
Holy, let's go. Let me get rid of these just because I don't want to accidentally trigger them. Power grid activated. Let's go. Open the gates for the convoy. Only slightly burning. Okay, we're going to grab that turret. That'll be huge. There's a data terminal here. What does this do? Obviously, it's going to give us data. But on what? No. I wonder if that's like a, a side objective maybe that pops up. Can't pick that up. Um... You know what? I'm going to drop the nitrogen and take the satchel. Okay, let's push out. Slowly regening back to full. I'm the only one that's even in any danger, but we seem to be holding decently right now. Let's go back this way. More stims. on push okay, it looks like we're probably just gonna get trickles now power plant overcharge increases site radius storm is decreasing site radius the energy batteries the stroll stuff would be nice to find more crits we got the sniper cover I'm not exactly sure how that works it I'm assuming there's just like random shots that kind of go off from time to time. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, no. I just realized we have to go all the way around here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Great. That's fantastic. I'm just going to trigger this and see where our guys go because I don't have a clear destination. I'm assuming it's up and around here. Kind of looks like there's a, a walkway up top, so... Oh, yeah, we're definitely going up there. Okay, that'll be fun. Okay, Harrison's taking a couple of hits here. Keep our eye on him. We do have this explosive turret. Things get hairy. And it looks like this could be hairy. Fat, we got fat zombies. I got brutes here. Um, okay, so this little sil the silver overlay, that's got to be his... Uh, that's got to be his armor. It's nice to just take a second to kind of like... Set up this turret here. Okay, and then if we can, we'll try and like draw these guys in. Oh, the turret's facing the wrong way. Interesting. I actually didn't notice that it's on. It's got like its own arc. I thought it would kind of be like a 360 deal there. Yikes. I wanted to get that with explosives, but we kill them so quick sometimes. Okay. Energy ammo, basic locker. This vehicle's going down. I'm too heavy. Okay. Reloading, cover me. Oh, that was a not good reload. Take that. Let's get this fatty. Uh, get the stroll, get the stroll. Keep some of his armor for me, please. I just gotta be a little bit quicker on it, I think. That's a challenge in and of itself. No 
wait till we collect this. Okay, Keanu's taking some damage. Gotta watch this. Let's trigger down here. Little concerned. Let's do a heal. I don't have any energy. This would be the perfect opportunity. Stay down. My energy's too low. Wow. This is our biggest challenge so far here. Back up a bit. Keep backing. Keep backing. Be on the lookout. Inventory full. Reloading. Cover too low. Okay. We did manage to get another shield or another piece of armor broken. But man, these waves are getting pretty crazy. We got to try and move down there as fast as possible. Let's go. Let's brute force right now. This is a long ways. Reloading, I don't know if this gets rid of these eggs. I don't know if that counts as biomass. Seem to. Let's keep going. Everyone's healed back up nicely. Grab some of this energy. Give me, give me some armor. Give me some armor. Break the eye system. This is a gun that some of the uh, AI dudes have. I think I'm gonna drop it. Uh, let's drop this healing, grab the explosive turret. Oh, we have a free capture trap here. Drop this disruptor. Get a capture trap. Let's see how this works. Whoa. There's some armor. Come on. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, crits, crits, crits. Stims. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna hit the switch. Convoy is nearing the There's our corporal promotion, we'll finally. Help the defenders while you do the talking. Kill four atrocities. Kill ten monsters with secondary weapons. Hell, okay, well, that part's easy. I don't know what atrocities are, though. Push. Reach insurgent camp. Where are we? Oh, my God. We're starting to see the, the craziness that can happen. Like, a couple of mistakes and you're toast. up here. We're probably going to have to hold position for a while. I'll set like a, a containment grabber no, 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 deal. Capture trap. Once lured inside, a monster will be immobilized for 10 seconds. Monsters will be captured if their health drops or is already below 30% and is suppressed. The trap will rearm to attempt to capture... If attempt to capture is failed, monsters cannot die while well under the effects of the trap. Elysium, here. Oh great, we're saved. My energy's too low. We've got incoming. Why don't you make yourself useful? Target down. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put us back here. A couple of turrets up. I don't know if anyone's gonna hit this crap. Possible. There, get in there, big boy. Nice. Nice. Okay. We got something. He's just zapped out. And the trap is gone. That's pretty cool, actually. So I'm going to have to look up in the glossary what an atrocity is. There's some manual shooting here. Try and get I'm these so trolls. glad we're leaving this dump. And what are you waiting for, Elysium man? Talk to her! Gotcha. Just spamming everything that I have right now. Meet my new operative. Ooh, hello. Vivian. I'm gonna grab anything that I can take here. I'll use this. Maximum health. Okay, cool. Let me get some of these strolls. Why not? Uh, let's max out grenades here. Uh, you can also decrease this, by the way. If you hold control... You can decrease the, the level, but if you hold shift, then you can increase it. It's kind of interesting that you can swap that stuff on the fly. Only figured that out by accident. Overwatch. Yeah, let's see. Do you hear that? What does that mean? Took your sweet time, didn't you, Executor? I, I worked hard well, to get here, Vivian. You found me. And you can call me Nix. Horseshit, Nix. Commander. Are you sure you want to go with these guys? Stop gawking, LT. And as for you, X, let's get one thing straight. We are not allies. And a few months ago, I'd have blown your brains out for wearing that Elysium armor. For now, though, I'll play along with your little band of psychos. <laughs> cool, so she's friendly. Good. Am I evacuating here too, or is it just them? I guess we're going as well. Yeah, that was definitely our most challenging mission to date. We did get a promotion off that too. Very, very sick. Okay. So what I want to look Vivian for... Vivian Parks, also known as Nyx, is the leader of the Martian insurgency. Although she is a security risk, her expertise in Stroll is invaluable and will prove useful. Okay. Oh, another AI worried about security risks. You know what? Just tell me where these labs of yours are and beat it. I've got more significant problems to solve beyond just dismantling you. Yeah, no, I'm super happy. Super happy she's here. Uh, obviously, wants us to go to the archives now. Monitoring in-base communications. Oh, uh, here's atrocity listed. I'm not asking you to understand. I had to join these fools. Do you even know who they are? I'm worried about you. Should we be They're able to hear that? They're trying to stop Stroll, and they have all the tools. That works for you and me, since the other option is him. What if they hurt you? They aren't that crazy. Well, maybe if you keep talking about it, it's over like open it. comms. We'll change that. You're just jealous. <laughs> Suck it up, cowboy. Okay. Atrocities are these big brutes, one eye, uh, finger mouth, clawed, barbaric beasts. Direct symbiosis between parasite and brute mutants. The parasite injects xenohormone compounds that quickly reconfigure the zombie's internal organs and exterior appearance. The atrocity's body is unique in so many aspects. The obscure symbiosis changes both mutants so drastically that vital functions shouldn't exist at all. Kind of like English bulldogs. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Atrocities are alive and are often 
and are rather often encountered. Okay. Okay. Any next goals for me, or are we chill now? Do I get to do my own thing? Uh, advanced arsenal, advanced subsystems. We can make breach shotguns, submachine guns, and a salamander. Salamander was the flamethrower from the tutorial, I believe. Research team is happy to add several tested prototypes to the arsenal. Lightweight weapons, semi-automatic shotguns, ideal for close encounters with the enemy. Does great damage against crowds. Submachine gun reloads quickly but lacks firepower as it uses pistol rounds. Makes moving faster. And then the portable flamethrower. Can burn through lightly armored targets and ha has high damage. Enemies that are alight take damage over time. Okay. So now, where does one get these? Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so this is a 10-day project. Mobile Lab 1. Yeah, upgrading Mobile Lab. Uh, robotics Factory. 10-day project. Let's get that going with our specialists. Uh, where do I get weapons? Armory. Loadout. Oh, it's just available. Okay, sweet. So, the Cerberus Shotgun's a beast at close range. It does 20 times 100 destructive damage. Good explosive damage, reliable weapon for close encounters. Limited clip size and range. A fast firing shotgun that inflicts explosive damage. Narrow cone fire. Great for close quarters, but make sure to watch your ammo count. 20 times 100, 12 times 40. I mean, this seems just better in every way. I don't know why I would want to switch the automatic shotgun unless I was having power problems and I needed to mitigate some stuff that way. That's always an option. Um, our current build setup seems to be working. Uh, did these guys get levels? Oh, they did. Okay, so Keanu's going to take Adaptive Sniper, increases crit chance of all sniper weapons for each level of his skill. While standing near barricades, windows, or doors, the marksman will automatically swap to secondary weapon and have unlimited shots while active. Yes, please. That sounds great. Doesn't cost any power either. Uh, Ethan, field treatment applies a med kit or cleanse debuff. Removes all debuffs from the target in the area. Clears all poisons and adds anti-venom buff. Yeah, you know what? I think so. We have other ways of healing. So let's take that. I do want to make sure that um, we're still in the power area. We are. We're good. We're good. And then Harrison. Experimental thing to teleport items or a system that improves reload speed and increases the damage output of light weapons. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. Now, there's no direction on what to do here. Um, infestation's at 4%. Um, we're likely just having to wait a bit for story missions, but you can see now, like, we've got stuff that we can do in different areas. Gather these resources by building outposts in the region. I don't know how to build an outpost yet. Is that somewhere in research? Medical care that gets automated defenses and drop ships. Shielded power systems. Um, hardened comm relays, solar uplinks, then we could build those safety zone things. Advanced arsenal for different uh, weapons. And advanced subsystems. Hmm. I think we'll do landship support. And then what's happening here? Starting energy point on each deployment by one. Advanced med bay. Injuries one. Injuries one. Injuries one. So maybe this means that they can take more injuries. Um, I talked about this in the first video, I think. But if we look here, uh, these three hearts, these are the injuries. Each follower will receive an injury if downed in battle. If a follower is downed a certain amount of times, so he'll be killed permanently and not accessible anymore. Careful which followers you take into combat and which you want to rest and heal. We've just been rocking with this group right now. Um, there's probably a decent argument to be made for getting some new, uh, some new classes. 
or some additional classes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, assault trained up. Should I do a medic as well? Why not? We just used all of our money. <laughs> what else are we using it for? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, documents story-wise, night shift. Before the executor's activation, contact was established with Vivian Parks, a.k.a. Nix. The Martian insurgent leader agreed to join the cell and assist the organization's science division. She accepted the offer mostly because her laboratories were obliterated in the Tharsis incident. The executor was deployed to secure Nix's arrival to the landship. In the following day, she confirmed that Stroll is evolving unexpectedly, as if reacting to something that humans have done. Interesting. So she's our she's our science team now. Um, let me just head down here. Get supplies, artificial beehives. Disables all your research for the move. Reduces infestation, increases intel gain. I just don't know how to build an outpost just yet. Maybe I'm not able to. Like, do we see anything in um, tutorials here? Dropship. Click on the dropship, initiate a scan, which passes time. Uh, that seems okay. Current requirements not met. Okay, I'm just going to keep going um, until we can build an outpost. And unless, like, yeah, no, I'm not sure. Max suit, primary ammo clips. So there must be, like, these other benefits that I don't totally understand yet. Okay, get supplies. Uh, mercs. It's a resource mission. In engineering items, decrease infestation growth. Uh, we don't see any wave numbers. But these all are different missions that we could take right now. Infestation, gain engineering items, gain supplies. Let's actually go here. I think this will be our next mission. Um, we'll start with that. We'll see where this leads. And we'll go from there. But I think we got a pretty good setup going on. Guys, wish me luck. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now.